Welcome to Code Spider. In this video, we are going to discuss loop and HTML encoding in Razor View Engine. In this video, we cover for loop, for each loop, while loop, and the bonus point of the video is HTML encoding. We discuss about what is HTML encoding and what the benefit to use the HTML encoding. So let's flip to Visual Studio and we'll discuss about how the looping is work on the Razor View Engine. In the previous video, we already discussed about how to use the conditional statements in Razor. Let's remove all these things for now. Here we want to discuss about the for loop. So to start the for loop, we need to type as at the red symbol to initialize the Razor. Then for after declaration of for, double tap on your keyboard. You can see that the for loop is created for us. The length is not declared here. Let's it make us 10. That means whenever the page is load then the int value equal to 0 then always it check i is less than 10 then it incremented the value let's add a h1 tag here and type h for loop value is let's add the red i save this run the application the for loop value is printed the basic purpose of the for loop is iterate some data here on the page initialization the i value equal to 0 then we check the static value i is less than 10 then i plus plus that means that 10 times the i value is iterated through the loop and here the value equal to 0 up to 9 suppose we want to pass the dynamic length then we need to declare as let's int length equal to 5 here we need to pass length that's it run the application and see the output you can see that as the length is 5 then it iterate only 5 times so this is a simple way we can use the for loop then let's discuss how to use for each loop let's remove all these things here on the real time development the for each loop is most necessary in the sp.net code application of the Razor View engine for each loop is basically iterate through the collection to add the for each loop let's add add the red symbol then type for each then double tap you can see that the for each loop is dependent to a collection and here the collection is not declared so let's declare a collection here here i am adding a static collection let's var items equal to new of list of integer let's i am adding some integer value 3 4 5 6 7 8 like this and here instead of the collection let's start the items name then here i want to iterate through so let's add a h1 tf here value is then whatever the value will come we will display that so to display the value in the html element we need to type as other it then item item is the object of the items collection let's save it and run the application you can see that according to our list the for each loop is iterate through when the page is loaded it found the collection of integer list of items then in the for each loop we have iterated that var item in items and here the iterate value is other item that means whenever the for each loop is iterated through it will print the value instead of the list of integer if you want to add the list of string then we need to change here list of string let's it say country list here we need to add And here we need to add as country list you can see now the country list is printed as expected here we added some of the static list if you want to add the static list with help of model remember that in the previous video session we have created a employee class here of employee name and employee address let's add a list of collection of the employee and we will see how it happened in a table so let's first add the directory of the models or the rate using the project name is customer management dot models then here we need to add as var employee equal to new list of our class name is employee here we need to add some custom object new of employee let's employee name equal to john employee address equal to let's usa like this are some other employee information in this case we want to display this information in a html table so let's add a html table here table 
and this table head should be in here and inside the bear item in employee we should add here employee then let's remove all these things and here we need to add the table row and here we need to add td then at the rate item dot here we need to add as employee name let's copy this and here we add as employee address look this result how easily we got the html tables we declare the employee list of data with help of the models and here we add the some static data to the employee class and on the html tab we add the table and a t head of name and address and here in the for each loop we iterate the employee list then according to the item we iterate that item dot employee name then item dot employee address so this is all about how to simply use the for loop and the for each loop let's discuss about how to use while loop in an azure view let's remove all these things here to use while loop let's declare a variable here where s equal to 0 and here we need to type as other it while and double tap you can see that the while loop is created for us and here we need to add some logic here s is less than 5 then s plus plus then on the spawn tab we need to type as other it s let's run the application and we'll see the result then we'll discuss what we have done for the while loop when the page is loaded we have initialized the where value s equal to 0 and here we check the condition if s is less than 5 then it iterate through and in the span tab we show the s value and here we incremented the value that means first time the value is 0 then 0 is less than 5 then s value is got as 1 then it printed as 1 and s plus plus that means the s value is now converted to 2 like the way the result is printed so this is the simple example of the while loop according to your requirement you can use for loop for each loop and while loop let's move to our bonus part of this video of html encoding first discuss what is html encoding html encoding means to convert the document that contains the special characters outside the range of normal 7-bit ascii into the standard form when the character are html encoded then they are converted to the string and which causes the browser to display the less than sign and the greater than sign correctly then we need to understand why the html encoding is needed html encoding prevents the excesses that means cross-site scripting attacks since if it is prevents users input to turn into scripts that can be used to perform this type of attack so let's understand how the html encodings work on the razor view engine suppose i have a declare a string variable with some characters let's see that in the span tag let's i append here at the rate encode value let's run the application and we'll see the result you can see that this result is displayed as a string and it is not open in the alert box because of we have used the script alert so it should be pop up so why it is not pop up let's understand because of the razor engine is automatically encodes the less than bracket and the greater than bracket to and and gt symbol let's right click and go to the view page source here in the span tag we have added the encoded value and this encoded value is combination of the script and alert you can see that the angle bracket is converted to and lt and here and gt that implies the razor is very intelligent and the razor is automatically encodes our value so that if you type anything in the razor page so it should be secure for us if this value is allowed script alert and your site is hacked then it is a then it is a cross-site scripting issue for our application that means suppose in a input box someone is added like this type of text then it should be go to your database and if this uh, cross-site scripting is not handled properly then it should be displayed as an alert in a phase so razor is provided by the automatically to uh, encode the message so there is no need to worry but some cases we need to show some encode message suppose like in a rich text box you want to display some design of that text and uh, some font and etc and you want to push the data to the controller another feature is the razor provided that is called html.raw so here we need to add as html dot raw 
let's run the application and see the output first then we'll discuss about the html row you can see now the alert script is working in the encode value we set as alert your site is hacked now when the page is loaded this javascript alert is so so let's understand what is html dot row well if you want to script to be executed then you use the html row method to the print out the unencoded string as like here this code result is an alert box popping off as it is popping off here so that means html raw is basically used whenever your html is generated in the razor page it should be go to the controller then that time only you have to use html raw but whenever you want to avoid the cross site scripting and deal with the, some secure data then that time there is no worry as the razor pay engine is provided html encoding by default or automatically so that's all about our html encoding and html raw so far in this Razor View engine, we have discussed about what is Razor View engine, how to use the Razor View engine, and how to use the conditional statement, how to use the loop, and how to use the HTML encoding and the HTML raw. So I guess you have got the basic concept how to work on the Razor View engine. That's it in the video. On the next video, we are going to discuss how to install and use client side library like jQuery and Bootstrap in ASP.NET Core MVC. Do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.